Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm your host, the Board Game Captain. Today I'll be doing something a little different. I'm going to be reviewing a novel instead of a game, but the title of this particular novel is The Player of Games. Uh, it was written by Ian M. Banks, a Scottish sci-fi author who's written quite a few books, and this is part of his culture novels. Now, the culture novels are not really a series. Uh, they're a group of books that all take place in the same universe, and they all have to do with this far advanced pan-human civilization known as the culture. Now this is the second of his culture novels, but you do not need to read the first one, which is called Consider Phlebas, before you read this book. As good a book as Consider Phlebas is, and it is a good book, I feel that this book, The Player of Games, is actually a better introduction to the universe. You get more of a look at the culture and its society and its structure and its politics and its, its goings-on from this game than you do from the first book, Consider Phlebas. And, and again, there's only a vague reference to things from Consider Phlebas that's completely unnecessary for you to have read that book before reading this book. So now this book is about a, a person named Gerga. Now Gerga, he is a game theorist. In the culture, uh, it is not necessary for humans to be employed, to work. Uh, all manufacturing is automated, everything is run by AIs, and humans can do whatever they want. They can have a profession if they want to, but it's all optional because none of it's necessary. If they want to move, if they want a new house, if they want anything, they just ask the AIs, and the AIs will, within reason, supply it to you. Um, makes it sort of a, a somewhat of a, of a utopia, if you will. Now, Gerga chooses to work, but he chooses to work in an area that would probably be a hobby for most of us and not actually a career. And what he does is he works as a game theorist. He plays games constantly, he travels around, he writes articles and papers on the theory behind good game design and game strategy. And he goes to universities and, and different uh, venues and, and gives lectures and talks on game theory. I mean, in, in a way, Gerga is definitely a hero of mine. I, I, I wish I could do that all the time. That'd be pretty amazing. So Gerga is doing this when he gets contacted by a government agent who kind of wrangles him into going on a secret mission, if you will. Turns out the government of the culture has discovered this new alien civilization that they haven't made common knowledge yet. They haven't told the most of the citizens of the culture about this new civilization. And this civilization, their, their entire hierarchy in their society is based around the playing of this particular game. They learn it from the, 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 the very youngest age and they, they spend their entire lives mastering it. And even, not just their social standing, but even the ruler of their government, the ruler of the government is decided by an annual tournament of this game. So they want Gerga to go to their civilization and they've already secured him a spot in the annual tournament because if he places well, uh, he can act as a bit of a, a diplomat to this, this, this alien civilization and they will take him seriously because he has placed well in the tournament and they don't take anyone who doesn't play the game well seriously. Now. This book deals with a lot of very interesting issues. It's, it's a, it's a sci-fi book at its core, but like many of Banks' science fiction novels, the science fiction is a backdrop so he can explore cultural, societal, and human nature type issues. Now, one of the, the very big issues in this book is, is dealing with uh, xenophobia and also uh, dealing with sexism. Uh, the, the alien civilization is incredibly xenophobic, uh, has many prejudices, and, and looks down upon anyone who's not them. They also are very sexist. They themselves have three genders, and one of their three genders occupies all of the governing positions, while the other two are forced into permanent underclasses and can only work in certain areas of their society. In contrast, the rather socially advanced culture has moved completely above and beyond sexism and xenophobia, and they, they look to, to better themselves and better others by 
by helping lift all up to their, their standard, and that's what they want to do here. They want to improve this alien civilization, help them get over their, their prejudices and their, their hatreds. Another very interesting concept he uses here, which he does use in some of his other books, and, and it is a, a concept that I feel uh, has not been explored enough by other authors or, or in other mediums, but the, the fact that it's very interesting to see what games are designed and played by a particular society during a, a particular time period, because it, it is very telling about that society what sort of, of game entertainment they, they value and spend their time on. Um, you, can, you can really tell a lot. It's very interesting uh, to, to note, especially uh, when societies make games and sports that are, that are intentionally lethal or where they sacrifice the losers or winners of them, or when there's, uh, whether a board game is, is meant to be a metaphor for uh, gaining wisdom versus, versus uh, winning at battle. Etc. Now, th this is this goes a bit into that because they they go into detail about what this game is is like and how it uh, it reflects their society very well, uh, especially in the early on um, in the early on levels of their tournament. One of the things they like to do is they like to stack the deck against those who might be from outside civilizations, their xenophobia showing through there, or from other than the, the dominant gender, their, their sexism showing through there. And they have ways of doing that without, with, without overtly making it look like they're doing it. They still try to make it look like, like everything's on an even field. But in the first couple rounds of the game, rather than it being one-on-one, -on -one, they have these big multiplayer games, and there'll be eight people on a map, and only one will survive to make it out. Well, there's this un unwritten uh, agreement between the various players that they try to make sure that those who are of inferior gender or from an inferior uh, species would not make it on to the next round. Now, this is a fantastic book. Uh, it is a grand adventure to an alien civilization. It, it is a wonderful exploration of the nature of of sexism and xenophobia and prejudice and a, a, it kind of makes you take a moment and think about your own prejudices and the way you look at the world and it makes you it makes you want to want to question what would I do in this situation and in my opinion those those are the best kinds of novels uh, there this book has a bit of everything in it it's got philosophy it's got action it's got adventure and it's very well written. Now, I am a member of the website goodreads.com and on goodreads.com I rated this book five out of five stars. This is the highest rating they can give you. But if goodreads.com had allowed you to use a 10 star system so you could be more precise in the same manner that I rate the board games that I, I rate in the same manner that all the games are rated on BoardGameGeek.com, this would get a 10 out of 10 stars for me. This is one of my favorite books of all time. If you are a fan of science fiction, and you are a fan of games, and you are a fan of, of books that make you think, while also being quite enjoyable and, and quick moving, this is a great book. I would recommend this book to just about anybody. So there you have it. Do you have any questions? Are you also a fan of E&M Banks? Uh, do you want to comment on anything I've talked about or recommend anything else for future videos? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you would like to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, game and read on.